Okay, so um, um, today what I, I want to present is this, this atlas that we've, uh, we've produced, um, Agus and I, as well as um, uh, a number of consultants who've helped us doing this. And the rationale behind this is that no one wants uh, today um, to uh, buy food or eat food or write on paper that's tainted by deforestation. That's, that is the reason of deforestation. Um, and companies are becoming to be aware of this. And so they're making these pledges, these zero deforestation pledges. They say, okay, we're going to clean up our supply chain. And um, while they're saying this, I think that as consumers, uh, not just as researchers here, but as, as consumers, we need to be watchdogs in a sense. that We need to somehow have access to information to be able to verify these pledges, uh, to make sure that this isn't just greenwashing, that it really is happening. So this is basically the rationale behind, behind this atlas. I mean, a lot more can be done, but this is really uh, 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 the selling point, the, currently the selling point of this atlas, that you can actually verify deforestation pledges um, made by the corporate sector. And in this case, we've worked on the, uh, the island of Borneo. And so we've looked at two uh, important commodities, um, palm oil and pulpwood for, for paper. Um, so, um, basically, um, what this atlas is doing is that for the first time you're really able to verify, uh, well, to actually look at the deforestation footprint of over a hundred companies uh, of oil, palm and pulpwood in, uh, in, uh, on this island of Borneo. So, it, it, it includes the Malaysian side in the north, Indonesia, and also the little, uh, um, the little country of Brunei. So maybe what I can just do is just do a quick demo, for example, yeah? Um, so um, basically here you can just go there, you can look at, enter a company name, and um, here there's about 121 groups that you can look at. Uh, so maybe I can just go for April. April is, um, you may have heard of, is a big uh, producer of, of pop and paper. And so if we go and search for April, um, what the um, system tells us is that April has actually got seven concessions or seven estates that have been highlighted in blue here. Um, and if you look at, on the right hand side at this window, it tells you that the combined area of these seven estates is um, about 382,000 hectares at the top there. Um, and the remaining forest, currently remaining forest, well, here is, is it is uh, as of 2015, by the way, we're, we're updating to 2016 now. We're always kind of lagging a year behind. Remaining forest, about 100,000 hectares in, 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 in these concessions. And total deforestation, 233,000 hectares since 1973, because here we're looking at a 42 year time span. But not all of that deforestation we think has been caused by the companies. In fact, we find that 143,000 hectares roughly was caused by the company. And we've done this um, by looking at the time delay between the moment we saw deforestation and the moment we saw the uh, plantation being established. These two things we can actually see quite well with satellites. In other words, the, f the, the more, rapid the more rapidly the forest was being converted to a plantation, the more likely it was that the company was responsible. But sometimes you may have a forest patch being cleared, say, 20, 30 years ago, or pre prior to the establishment of a, of, a, of a plantation, and it could well be that this is not the company here responsible. So these are, this is why the, the, there's a difference between the total deforestation that we see and the deforestation caused by the company. The difference might be a forest fire, or it might be different actors, uh, clearing land within within uh, within the concessions, we know that there's a lot of overlapping land claims in concessions, particularly in the Indonesian side. Then there's the avoided deforestation. And here, the avoided deforestation is the area of plantation that was established on land that was already free from forest more than five years, or ten, or fifteen years uh, uh, um, uh, before uh, the plantation was established. Um, so the avoided deforestation would be a you know thumbs up for the company in a sense for you know in terms of conservation. But uh, uh, and and finally we've got also got the planted area uh, as of 2015, which is essentially uh, the area that's currently active. And here we're, uh, it's about 163,000 hectares. And then what you can look at on the on the right hand side, we've 
all got, we've, all, we've also generated some sort of ranking uh, uh, for all of these indices, uh, for all of these 121 companies that we're looking at. So planted area in 2015, April is at num top, top four of 121, you know, in terms of surface area that's already being planted. Um, so if you look at, for example, um, if you click here, um, then you've got that list, so April's number four. Sinamas Forestry has got more, uh, 288,000 hectares planted. Uh, then there's Ga, Wilmar, and then you can scroll down all the way to the 121st. Um, then um, these indices, these numbers, you can find out more by clicking here. And <coughs> basically this chart it tells you the land use as of 2015. Uh, so here we have that number. This is the currently planted area within the combined concession area and also how much forest there is left intact and logged and a bunch of uh, various other things. Here this is a, a, an idea for how much biomass above biomass, uh, above ground biomass remains in, in, uh, in, 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 the, in the forest that remains in the concessions. And if you go down to um, these graphs, um, so this is basically the annual deforestation, company-driven deforestation that has been... Essentially, this is the deforestation that April, we think, is responsible for. And I, you know, um, if you look at 2014 and 15 here, there's actually a, a peak in deforestation. And uh, it, it's actually on peatlands. And it sort of makes me wonder, how come April still clears peat swarm forests these days um, uh, considering all the, you know, all the information, all the, 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 the public outcry that's gone out, you know, following these fires, uh, which, by the way, started again in 2013, how come they still clear forests, peace swamp forests, uh, uh, in 2014, 15, and we're also doing 16, same thing? How come? Um, and oh, by the way, um, uh, Singapore keeps buying paper, the Singaporean government keeps buying paper. Uh, for its offices um, um, uh, from April, uh, although um, so we know that the Singaporean government is totally anti haze but we also know that if we c keep clearing peat swamp forest, we're creating more fire hotspots for the future. So that's a bit of an enigma for me, or you know, I, well, I guess it shows that it still is business as usual. Um, so basically, what you can do here is you can. Uh, then you can look at, um, so here we said we had found seven concessions, so you could, this is the list of the seven concessions with the names that April controls uh, or, or owns in, 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 um, in, in Borneo Island. And then you can look at the individual, uh, uh, you know, you can look at uh, uh, um, the individual concessions if you want. So for example, you can look at this one, it's 141,000 hectares and you can you can go there. It's actually going to zoom over the area, and again, the same uh, the same statistics are going to the same statistics are going to appear uh, with the, you know the, the 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 graphs, but only for that particular concession, not for the aggregated uh, 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 concessions. Uh, so um, another. Um, so uh, another um, example, for example, is Wilmar. Uh, so for example, you can, Wilmar is you know, a palm oil giant, as, as you know. Um, so if we look at Wilmar, for example, um, interestingly, Wilmar, unlike April, pledged to zero deforestation in, 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 in December 2013 with immediate effect. April pledged to zero deforestation, I think, in 2016. So we're still, you know, they're, they're still getting away with it in a sense because they haven't pledged for the 2014 and 15 peak that we've just looked at. But Wilmar pledged in 2013 with immediate effect. So we can look in, if in 14 and 15 deforestation has gone down or no. So Wilmar has got 67 concessions. Uh, um, and these are the orange areas that, and so they're it's sort of scattered around Borneo and Kalimantan and Sarawak and Sabah and on the Malaysian side. And um, they, so these are the, the, the stats. And if you look at the um, um, annual deforestation, you can see that after 2013, deforestation is going, going down dramatically. In fact, 2015 appears to be at its lowest level 
compared to 2001, which sort of suggests that Wilmar is indeed uh, um, uh, 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 trying to fulfill its zero deforestation pledge. However, if you know, um, could could this could this drop in deforestation simply be because there is no more forest left in in, in Wilmar's concessions? Because when you look at the uh, when you look at the deforestation peaks, it looks that Wilmar was very actively clearing forest in 2016, and then it sort of dropped since that. So in order to try to answer these questions, you can go to uh, an advanced, <coughs> you can go to the advanced search, uh, which, is, which is here, and here, so you say, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to, um, again, so this is the same thing, I'm going to go for Wilmar. So I'll go and I'll, I'll, I'll click Wilmar. Um, uh, okay, well, Wilmar is actually just doing oil palm, so we can we can still leave all industries. But uh, uh, let's look at all countries. You could you, you could do a, a split by countries and even by regions. You could also do a, a split by whether these uh, companies are RSPO uh, members or not. But here, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, we're only going to look at Wilmar concession where there's still a lot of forest left. Okay, because we suspect that deforestation might actually be higher. In, in those concessions where there's still forest left because, you know, there's forest to clear. Um, so what we're going to do here is that we're only going to look at, we're going to narrow our search uh, by only looking at the concessions where more than 50% of the concession area here, say 49%, remains in the concessions. And so, and then we can apply <coughs> this filter. Now there's only four concessions um, um, uh, um, uh, here and it, 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 you can see there's one here, one here, and there's a, a couple at the top there in, in Sabah. But interestingly, uh, when you look at then, so these are the statistics for these four concessions only, and when you look at the actual deforestation that Wilmar has caused in these concessions, since 2013 you actually see that deforestation has actually gone up and not gone down. Okay, which sort of suggests that um, for those concessions where um, where um, there is still a lot of forest left, it still is business as usual for, for, for these concessions. And basically, they are not uh, um, 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 keeping up their, 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 their pledge. So, if we want to now look at which company is actually responsible for that, uh, for, for for this increase in deforestation, we can look at the individual concessions. And I've, so I've done the homework for you, and so I, this is this one. I, we can look at, at this particular concession, um, which is uh, which has got this particular name. It's in somewhere in um, in um, West Kalimantan, and you can see here that uh, there's a peak in deforestation in 2015 uh, compared to um, uh, compared to 2013, and in fact the 2016 data reveals a much even higher number. So, um, yeah, so this uh, tells you that um, if the concession data set is correct, it, which if this concession belongs to Wilma, then that particular concession did not um, um, basically keep its promise. They kept clearing forest. And guess what? It's on peatlands as well. Um, so um, if we say, for example, because with this data set, you can add a number of layers, and so, for example, we can add the peatlands. Uh, this is a, a peatland map from, the, um, from the, um, the Ministry of Agriculture. So you can see that this is a, a, a peatland, that this concession is, is actually sitting on peatlands. Uh, you can also play with the transparency, um, you know, to be able to visualize layers, you know. So and here, this is um, the actual, in black, this is what's currently planted uh, with in industrial oil palm. Um, and this is that particular concession here that we think has not, has breached its pledge. So it's actually on peatlands. Um, I, um, um, a, a group from Singapore uh, called the PM Hayes um, uh, have, have looked at this atlas and they know about this and they've asked Wilma. Um, about this particular concession, and Wilmar was pretty elusive, and they said, "Well, we actually don't recognise that company 
And if it might be a company that we were forced to sell back to the Indonesian government. But to be honest, uh, we don't really know. And they've not really given us a, a, a very straight answer. Because what this tells us, it could be that the concession data is wrong. But what this actually tell, what this atlas also does is that you can do the search for um, um, two different layers. Um, so um, version one and version two, because um, there are currently two concession data sets that are currently floating in the public sphere. One was released by the WRI, one was released by Greenpeace. And sometimes one is better than the other, but it, it's so we've decided because we don't feel we've got the mandate to actually start playing with you know its government data. So we said, okay, we'll just put in both data sets, and you can do the same search with two different data sets, and the same name that's the same company name belonging to Wilma for that particular specific case is actually consistent in both data sets. So um, yeah, so this is basically what this can actually do. Uh, it can help you uh, sort of uh, uh, verify pledges by, um, by corporate actors in, in, on the island of Borneo, basically, for pulpwood and for palm oil. Thank you.